Brittany. Welcome back to Hourless Life. If you are just joining us, we are Eric and Brittany Highland, and along with our six-year-old son, Caspian, we are attempting to drive around the world in our home, a 2021 Jeep Gladiator we call Dauntless. Our goal with our YouTube channel is to give you a first-person point of view and show you what a real global overlanding journey is like. Now, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We would love to take you around the world with us. In our last video, we took you with us to the center of the world, the equator, where there's this massive monument that, guess what, isn't actually at the equator. So we went on a hunt for the actual equator, and you'll never believe where we find it. If you missed that video, we'll link it here. It was an awesome experience. In today's video, we are flying out of Quito, Ecuador, heading to the magical Galapagos Islands, where we spend 10 days. And there was so much great footage that this video is a little bit longer than most, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. Brittany gets stalked by a sea lion. We see some incredible tortoises. We take a couple crazy boat rides, visit a white sand secluded beach, track down the marine iguana, which is only found here, and Caspian goes snorkeling for the very first time, and so much more. This was one of my personal favorite experiences on this entire journey so far. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this video, so let's pick up right where we left off. We've parked Dauntless and we're waiting on our taxi to take us to the airport. We are all packed in our three backpacks. Caspian's having a donut from Morale. And uh, yeah, our taxi should be here any minute. So pumped to head to the Galapagos. Can't wait to take you with us. Here we go. There is Don Santiago. Buenos dias, senor. This is Papa Santiago, a person of confidence of Dan and Gina who takes their daughter to school. Brittany, how are you feeling? I'm good, I have a donut. Caspian, how are you feeling? Good, I just had a ginormous oil donut. We're at 6.42 a.m. Our flight leaves at 9.30, I believe. Bye-bye, Caspian. <laughs> I was just kidding, baby boy. Gracias. These are tarjeta de control de transit. Now we gotta guard them with our lives. We can't lose them or we're in big trouble. We are headed to the plane. Hopefully they don't flag us for anything. Brittany's really concerned about that. Why are you worried? Well, we didn't exactly buy the right tickets. So here's the situation. When you buy tickets, they're at all different levels. I got the extra small, cheapest level because we're taking these tiny carry-ons. Like we didn't need all the stuff, which still we paid like $600 for the three of us to fly to the Galapagos. A fellow overlander told me, oh, by the way, you have to buy the large package because all of the other packages are off limits if you're not Ecuadorian. It didn't say it anywhere on any website or anything official. Apparently you can pay a $150 fine per person if you don't have the right ticket package got to the gate and they called our name. I went up to the gate. She just asked for those little cards, these things that we filled out right here. Uh -huh. She took those, took our passports and that was it. All right, that's $450 we can spend on something else. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, honestly. I'm a major rule follower. We even tried to call Avianca. You said you need to start weightlifting? Yeah, your bag is heavy. It's because I'm carrying your and my snorkel in. My snorkel is so heavy. Uh-huh. <laughs> of the plane. This doesn't get to happen too often. Gracias. Right. Gracias. We are in the Galapagos, you guys. We've made it through all the checks. And it's hot here. It's like 90 degrees right now. I am really looking forward to getting settled. And we have three days on this island. Feels like we're on vacation. Everybody thinks that we're on like this permanent vacation on this global overlanding trip. That's not the case. This feels like vacation. Oh, is this us? Me llamo es Brittany Highlands. Me llamo por tres noches. We made it to our room. It's a huge bed, Brittany. Your favorite thing on the planet. I do love a big bed. Oh, it's good to be here. Mm. Ask Brittany and Caspian what they're doing right now. 
When was the last time we were in 90 degrees? It has been a really long time. Brittany's being all secretive. I don't know what's going on, but I asked her where we're going and she said this way. I yeah. see something on the What? Already? Yes, straight ahead of you. Holy smokes. <laughs> Go run up to the fence and look. Welcome to the Galapagos. We just sat down here and Brittany saw this sea lion just sitting there chilling. Our little neighbor. Ferry tickets are a thing. Mm -hmm. We are trying to book our tickets to go from San Cristobal to Santa Cruz and then on to Isabella. It's $30 a person per island, which means that for the three of us to cross one island is $90. This is our ferry boat for Sunday. Is that baby? Uh, uh, That's uh, baby. Uh, That's mommy right uh, there. Oh, he's so cute. Is that him right now? Yeah, that's a baby. This does not suck. Day one in San Cristobal, we are hanging out on these swings. They keep bringing us popcorn. There's a boat over there that some sea lions jumped on and took over. I wonder if they're gonna be able to take off with the boat. They are sea lion pirates, Caspian. They are, there's another one going over there. There's been like up to at least five of them that have jumped on this boat here. Look at that. Sunset, you guys. What happens when you near the equator? What are we doing today? We're gonna go snorkeling. Are you excited? Sort of. I'm also scared. Why are you scared, son? Because I breathe uh, out. I'm scared, scared that I might sink, and then my snorkel be above the water. And how do I even know the snorkel is above the water or not? But these are the only two healthy things on my plate. <laughs> so we just had breakfast downstairs in the hotel. It was a buffet. And now we are off to the interpretive center, which is like the best first stop on San Cristobal because it talks to you about the island and what you're going to see. Centro de Interpretación Ambiental. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get into it. Oh, look at that pretty yellow bird. Yeah. Maybe it's a Galapagos finch. Did you just make that up? I kind of made it up, but also it kind of looks like a finch. I don't know. I'm not much of a birder, but I'm working on it. I'm just looking at the amazing cactuses. I think it's in here, baby. This is the crust, and the crust is in plates that kind of push together. And what happens when that happens? Earthquakes. Earthquakes. And so some scientists think that those volcanoes erupted and the lava and the magma created the Galapagos Islands. And that's why I'm doing so much magma. Exactly. If you lay down. Okay, so in 50 years, by the time you're 56 years old, all of these Galapagos Islands, the land that we're on right now, is going to be this much closer to the mainland of Ecuador. Cool. I am motivated to find some good books about the history of the Galapagos because there's been a lot of intrigue. And with, some scandal. Yeah, with like people coming mm -hmm. to the Galapagos. I had no idea about all that. We need to get in the water because yes, it's hot. it is hot. So we're going to go teach Caspian how to snorkel. I'm just going to get my snorkeling mask since I don't have my other one. Eric decided to get out there and snorkel a little bit. And there's sea lions all over the place. There's one right here. The sea lion says, what is this strange animal? This is Caspian's very first snorkeling lesson. How did your first snorkeling ever go? It was really good. Yeah? I'm going to go back in. Okay. I'm just going to adjust my mask. Okay. I just saw some salt. So I just got bit while I was filming by a horse fly. Look at that, it drew blood. What the crap? I'm gonna have to go into the water with these guys. I think we have an expert snorkeler on our hands. Caspian, you've been doing fantastic. He's a natural. What do you have to say for yourself? I feel pretty good. I saw some sea lions and some fish. It was really cool. I just want you to come back in because I want to go in again. I will, baby, but I'm gonna do some filming of mommy so we can have some of her on here. This has been really cool. We have been snorkeling with the sea lions and there's these beautiful blue and green fish and schools of fish under there. It's so awesome. Brittany. <laughs> He's coming. 
coming back behind you. No, I don't. I'm scared of him. He's right behind you. I don't think he likes you. He's coming. Well, today I was almost attacked by a sea lion in the Galapagos Islands. Time to get cleaned up. After our epic adventure, Brittany almost got eaten by a sea lion. They totally did. Who knew that they ate people? What an experience, Brittany. Yeah, it's so fun just going to a beach and going snorkeling. Where are we, Brittany? Here on the Galapagos Islands. <laughs> I meant where are we right importantly, now? importantly, we're at dinner and the water is right behind us. And this is called Inti Garden. And they seem to be famous for their Neapolitan style pizza. So that's what we went with. You got the margarita? I did, without basil, evidently, but I hear the crust is amazing. I got the shrimp. You have some symbolic shrimp on your shrimp pizza. It's very symbolic. I got Hugo de Fresa. And what does that mean in English? You know, strawberry. Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Will you do some figure eights, Daddy? Sure, baby. Today is day three of our Galapagos adventure. We're still on San Cristobal and we are headed to a playa called Tijeritas. And supposedly it's supposed to be some of the best snorkeling in San Cristobal. Here we go. Look, birds. Blending with the ground. They do blend in with the volcanic rock. Basically we get up early in the morning and we go out before the sun gets really, really hot, go out snorkeling and enjoy the day. And then we go back and have lunch and then go rest all afternoon and then get up, go out to dinner and go exploring the town in the evening when it's cool again. I call it Brittany strategy, but I'm pretty sure that's what the locals do all the time. <laughs> I made it up. The path to get out to Playa Tijeritas or Moya Tijeritas is a long paved winding pathway. Sea lions just laying up on the dock. Daddy, are we able to touch on there? No, you may not touch the sea lions. No. Can I touch the bottom? Don't know. This is the best snorkeling spot we've been on, okay. on, on the three islands for oh, just having a guarantee to see something because there's always sea lions playing. Is it shallow anywhere? Yeah. Or? Oh yeah, it's really shallow right now, it's low tide. Okay. You can see the difference a lot. How long are you, you going to be on the road for? Uh, so we're driving around the world and we're going to take 15 minutes to drive around. Are you going to home snorkel? Are you going to home snorkel? so cool that you're right next to these sea lions while you're doing awesome. this. And I'm excited because there was a marine iguana swimming in the water, which is one of the things I told you I wanted to see. So there's one out there. You gotta find them. I know. Just over here getting ready to get in and these sea lions keep coming up right by us. It's so cool. You guys are like right there. Uh -huh. Aspen, come over here, please. Bye, mommy. Come over here. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Hold on up, buddy. Brittany and Caspian got on, and now it looks like all the sea lions want to join them. What do you think, Caspian? Well, for the first quarter, it was fun, and I felt like the guas, the tide rising, the sea urchins, with all that, it started getting a little too hard for me. Are you wanting to go back to the other beach that we were at? Mm -hmm. That yeah. one's way fun, though. Well, Mommy is over there swimming with the sea lion right now. This is just like the movies where the hot chick comes out of the water in her bikini. Just like the movies right here. Look at this. That's my girl. All right, give me the rundown. Give me your thoughts. This is an amazing place to snorkel. And I just got to swim with a sea lion, which was incredible. Anything else? I have snorkel hair. Totally wanted on YouTube. So we stopped for lunch after our snorkeling adventure this morning. We have worked up an appetite, so we are ready to eat. Today is the day we leave this island and we go to Santa Isabella. We've got to take two ferries, one to Santa Cruz, and then the second one 
to Santa Isabella, but we have like five hours to kill in Santa Cruz. And it's Father's Day. Mwah. It's an early start at 6.05 in the morning. Our boat leaves at seven and we should be to Santa Cruz by nine. The streets are completely empty this morning. Gonna be the only one on the ferry? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else is going to Isabella. <laughs> Buenos dias. So she said, all right, got your little tags. Come up here and get your luggage checked and then go get in line with everybody else. Good job, Caspio. Way to help out. I am glad to help out. Gracias, Amy. Watch your step, baby. This is scary. Remember I told you we went on a launch when I was in the military? This is like a little launch. It's just a little boat. It's going to take us out to the ferry. Is the boat going to fill up so it will be even? Is there going to be an even amount of people on each side? It is a full ferry. It's very warm. Brittany and Caspian are over there. It's only two seats to an aisle, so I've got the window seat on the opposite side. They said it'll be about two hours, maybe an hour and 40, depending on the sea conditions. We have made it to Santa Cruz. Caspian's a little worse for wear. Hopefully some fresh air will do him some good, some food. Caspian. Good job, baby. We did our first ferry ride and it went better for me than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to get really seasick, but I was fine. I slept. Yeah. And Caspian had to sleep because he got sick, so I made him really sick. What happened, Caspian? I'm not going to put it on video. Did he get sick? He didn't actually get sick, but he was really close. I can't believe it. I did it. You did it, baby. We're proud of you. So our bags are precariously there on the port bow of this little boat that's left front for you non-nautical types. I'm like, don't let those fall in the drink. We should find a place to put our bags. Yep. I marked a couple hotels on Google Maps that are close by. Because we got to come right back to this pier right. to catch our next boat to go to Isabella, but not until what? Three o'clock, two. Two, 2.10. It's a whole thing to get over here, huh? He's so happy about it. So we stopped at Hostel Elizabeth, who's going to hold our bags. Okay, muchas gracias, caballero. Adios. Brittany and I are considering possibly not going to Santa Isabella, but we're not sure yet. And by Brittany and I are considering, Eric means he just sprung this idea on you. Yeah, I just sprung it on her, but it was because Caspian didn't feel too well on this last boat. That's the beauty of our journey, though. We can make last minute changes and decisions like this because we're hourless. Well, not only that, but I paid a little bit extra so we could cancel our hotels until the last minute. So pro tip. Also that. That's a pro tip for you right there. Woo! Holy smokes, they're everywhere. Hey! There's a really little baby. Wow. Two pelicans, a marine iguana, and a seagull. Now a heron just landed back here. This is like the spot. We did end up changing our hotel plans and kind of our plan overall. We're right. not going to Isabella because we don't want to take the boat ride there and the boat ride back in two days. And that's totally fine. Santa Cruz is a big island. It's a very popular island. And this hotel has a pool. I think it was the right call. We are checking into Hostal España. This is what we needed. It is so hot here. Caspian's already jumped in. We've met some friends from the Netherlands at lunch and they're actually staying at the same hotel. How cool is that? I hope you don't mind being on YouTube. Is that okay? Cool. <laughs> super, super sweet family, beautiful family. They're here visiting the Galapagos and heading to Colombia next. We've been kind of trading tips with them. We found out we have to take a little water taxi. It's supposed to be like a two or three minute taxi to get to Island Grill. Isla Grill? Isla Grill. Yes, Isla Grill which is where we plan to have dinner tonight. So we're headed to the Little Water Taxi. Hey, Papa. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Is this pretty good for Father's Day? I mean, you kind of took me to the Galapagos for Father's Day and for my birthday. So yeah, I can't complain. I don't know how I'm going to top this. I'm going to have to take you to Rome. 
What did Caspian just pull out of his Caspian pocket? Caspian just whipped out Scruffy out of his pocket. We don't let him take this thing out anywhere. The idea of losing Scruffy is like, both Brittany and I freaked out as soon as he pulled it out. But he brought it for me for Father's Day so that I could have him at dinner with me as a surprise. Food's here, it looks so good. I got a huge steak. And then I also got some papas rellenos. I also got a steak with some shrimp. That was a wonderful, wonderful dinner. We had a really nice time and Brittany found some sort of beach. Yeah, there's supposed to be a beach right around the corner. So we'll go check it out before we take the water taxi back. Here's the beach we were looking for. It's supposed to be a place where people snorkel. I'm not sure what's normally seen here, but it's super accessible. So we did the really short hike and now we're headed back to take a water taxi. Just updating my budget. You doing okay? We're gonna make it? No. That was a nice little stop for Father's Day and what a great way to end the evening. Just a short little boat ride back, okay, Caspio? Uh-huh. I wish it was longer. So we continue to change our plans on the fly. We were going to go to this big tortoise reserve this morning, mm -hmm. but it's quite a taxi ride to get there, cost some money. So we decided instead to walk to the research center, which is a museum on Santa Cruz that everybody goes to, and there are tortoises there. And what's the situation on our hotel? Uh, also in flux. <laughs> We know we're staying tonight. Tomorrow we might move. And she just asked me to thread this yellow flower into her hair. Oh, Scream gave it to me. It's really special. Daddy videotaping sweetness from me. Just asked oh Brittany if she brought our rain jacket. She goes, no, I forgot. But it's not like we're on a major expedition. I'm like, Brittany, we drove our Jeep to Ecuador. We're in the Galapagos on Santa Cruz living out of backpacks. I think we're on an expedition. She said, yeah, I meant today though. I think we check in at that building. To the Parque Nacional Galapagos? Yes. All right, so we're right here. We're gonna walk a little farther and then we're gonna take the tortoise path. And then there's gonna be some kind of loop. And then down here, there's a cafeteria. That's the important part. We need to remember where that is. <laughs> we are registering here. It's a cost of $10 per person and five dollars for kids so 25 bucks the tour on the ruta de tortugas was extremely informative and definitely worth the ticket price our guide shared the history of the galapagos and was quite knowledgeable about the flora and fauna native to the islands the guide just told us that the manzanillo tree is poisonous so the apples are poisonous and then if you touch the leaves it's very irritable on your skin but the tortoises can eat it and it's good for their gastrointestinal system this is incredible this is massive Look at the size of this. It just keeps going. Whoa. But we had come to see the Galapagos tortoises and we were not disappointed when we finally got there. These massive and majestic creatures were on full display and quite active as we continued around the route to the tortugas. It was a marvel to behold them with our own eyes, watching them reach with their long necks and just the way they moved was quite an experience. We even got to see these creatures in various stages of life as the conservancy here is doing their best to keep their population numbers healthy. So we got to see them from full grown adults all the way down to little baby tortoises, and it was so interesting to learn about their history and their struggle to survive. One of the highlights of the tour was when we got to see the taxidermied remains of Lonesome George, which is kept here at the Charles Darwin Center on display in a climate-controlled room. We are going to be in here for two minutes, and then we go into this room that is 15 degrees Celsius, which is set up for his preservation, and he was the very last of his kind, Caspian. But why? why? Are we staying in here for two minutes? Because we don't want to do any damage to his body because he's the last of his kind. He was the very last one, then they went extinct. Lonesome George died on June 24, 2012, and was the last known individual of his specific species. In his last years, he was known as the rarest creature in the entire world, and now he serves as an important symbol for conservation efforts of all species around the world. Of interesting note, in December of 2015, it was reported by Yale researchers that they had discovered another subspecies and that they had a 90% match to Lonesome George's DNA. 
and that scientists believe that they may be able to use it to resurrect the species. Now, I'm not sure how I personally feel about that, but it is fascinating nonetheless. I am so captivated. These animals are amazing and it's just mind blowing. It is incredible. And Brittany said, why aren't these your favorite animal? And I said, are they your favorite animal in the world? And she said, maybe not the world. They are on the Galapagos Islands though. We ended up spending about two and a half hours at the research station. It is getting so hot. We're going back into town. We're gonna go probably get an early lunch. So we found this little place right around the corner from our hotel. And now it's on to dessert. This is mousse de chocolate. And Caspian's going for some ice cream. Do you like yours? Want to try mine? We need to get our ferry tickets today so that we could go back to San Cristobal, which is where our flight is leaving mm -hmm. for Quito. So that was high priority. But when we started asking around, all of the tickets for Saturday morning were sold out. And so we pivoted and we decided to leave Friday morning instead and it was no trouble getting tickets for Friday morning. So we've got one less night here on Santa Cruz but one extra night in San Cristobal which we really like. So. I really like San Cristobal so I'm happy about that. And now we're headed to dinner. Brittany has picked out a place called... My Pickens. What was it called? It's called El Muye. How do you say that? I just love watching your pronounced Spanish well, words. Well, it's no, it's not the correct like pronunciation. Everything's shifting. So we didn't go to Brittany's restaurant. We came to a different restaurant. So we shifted hotels, we shifted ferries. Now we shifted restaurants. Brittany, you're shifting. I don't know. Sometimes like it's a little tiring when everything keeps changing, but it's also really refreshing. You know what else is refreshing? What? Your sangria. <laughs> you know what else is refreshing? What's that, Caspian? My milk. What does it have in it? Cocosetto. <laughs> we are switching hotels from Hotel España to another hotel that we checked out in a different part of the town for three more nights here in Santa Cruz. And then we are gonna go to the beach and go snorkeling at a place called Playa Estacion. Let's find ourselves a taxi, shall we? These are what the cabs look like here in Santa Cruz. We're gonna hop in this cab head to our other hotel, drop our bags off. Gracias. All right. That's our hotel right there, that little white one across the street. We've made the walk through the town and we are arriving at Playa de la Estacion and we'll head on down. Caspian, are you ready to go? Let me get a thumbs up. All right. Okay, let me see you swim, Caspio. We had a really great time snorkeling. This beach that we're at, Playa de la Estacion, is the most accessible snorkeling place from Santa Cruz. It's mm -hmm. only a few minutes walk from the city center. And there were a lot of fish. Yeah. Saw a lot of different kinds of fish. And tomorrow, if all things go well and we don't change our schedule yet again, we're gonna go to another playa called- I think it's Tortuga Bay. It's supposed to be a white sand beach with a long, shallow, sandy area, which is gonna be perfect again for Caspian to get his confidence up when it comes to snorkeling. Caspian's a little tired, but you did great, Caspian. I'm so proud of you. What were you saying about this, babe? You know how no two snowflakes are alike. Go ahead, show Caspian your art project. It was really hard, I don't have scissors. <laughs> That's mommy's snowflake. Look, I kinda look <laughs> kindergarten okay i like this hotel so much better just kept up a little bit better in the room itself so we are getting settled in taking some showers to get the salt water off and looking forward to a restful afternoon this morning we are going down to the dock we're gonna take a boat to tortuga bay you can actually hike there but it takes a while and it can be really hot so we're taking the boat and that was perfect timing we got here stepped on the boat and they took off straight away Oh, we got some more people coming. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días. Hola. 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 Caspian's already making friends. He always does it. Gracias. 
We're on the boat. Brittany's over here making friends with the French. I think we're trying to form some sort of alliance with the French. But uh, super sweet family. They're actually RVers and they're driving around South America. So that was kind of cool. We've got about a 20 minute ride. We should be there at this gorgeous beach. A little choppy to say the least. This little guy wasn't having it, but he passed out. So he's good. And now we're back in some calm water. Getting ready to enjoy Tortuga Bay, you guys. It's amazing how all of this vegetation is growing right out of the volcanic rock. Daddy. Yes, love? Is this Wait. a beach for swimming? It is. Not the other one? Correct. Look at the white sand, Caspian. Isn't it beautiful? This is our Robinson Crusoe hideaway. This is where we're going to make camp for the day, mm -hmm. under the shade of this tree. Yeah. Camping overrated. That's yeah. funny considering you camp for a living. It's been a really cool day here at Tortuga Bay. We swam around. The beach is really nice. It's soft. It's white sand beach. It just goes out. You can walk out into the bay for what feels like forever. It's a great place for kids, but there's not a lot of sea life in this beach area. Now there are some mangroves. We rented a kayak and we went out in the kayak for an hour and we saw some rays and we saw about like five or six sharks. Saw some birds and some crabs. Just had a really nice time as a family kayaking around the bay. But now we're back. Caspian has found some kids to play with. It's really cool. Caspian, what did you think? I liked it. What was your favorite part? Uh, maybe playing with my friends or going out kayaking. Did you like the kayak? Yeah. After a little bit, I liked it. It's our last night on Santa Cruz. It's been a quiet, peaceful day. Eric rested a lot today. Totally acceptable because it's his present. This is one of the most popular streets in Santa Cruz for dinner. All of these places are open and lit up. I have vanilla con chocolate. That's vanilla with chocolate. Coco con guayabana. We are at Helado Stato. This is the most popular place that we found for this type of soft serve ice cream. Here on the island, everybody loves it, including this little guy right here. Six o'clock is starting early this morning as we're heading away from our sweet hotel and away from Santa Cruz, back to San Cristobal. Even Caspian's helping out, carrying a big old bag. Thank you, motel. I'm gonna miss our motel, Daddy. You're gonna miss it? Mm -hmm. This is a nice one. Normally this place is bustling. But nobody's awake this early. There's an ice cream place, but it's closed. It's quite a line. This is a busy, bustling place here. This is the line we were standing in just to find out that this is the line for one boat. So now we're on the water taxi section. We just had a Coast Guardsman check our names. And we're getting ready to take one of these little water taxis here to go out to our boat. They're handing out trash bags in case people are gonna get seasick. Here we go. We're being past Peter sitting up three rows from me. Should be a bumpy ride. Seems like everybody made it okay. Some people look a little green, but everything's good. We're here. I'm really happy that that is behind us because it's not my favorite thing. And we are back in San Cristobal, which I really love. Are you excited to be back in San Cristobal, Caspian? Yep. Do you like this one better or Santa Cruz better? I like this one. Get out of my face. Get me some coffee. Mommy. This is the magic island of the Galapagos. I love this one. You're totally You're using just... my phone as a mirror. <laughs> That's gonna be on YouTube. We're here on the island at 9.30 in the morning. We can't check into our hotel yet. So we've got our bags next to us here at this little place that we like to sit. Little outdoor seating right across the street from this playground. Brittany will have her morning coffee, I'm guessing. Unless she's already ready for a sangria. What's it gonna be, babe? Who do you think I am? I know who you are. Soon YouTube will find out the truth causing adults everywhere to find their inner child. Caspian found these teens across the street. Caspian said, I want to play tag. Would you guys play with me? And these teens are like, heck yeah. So now they're all over on the playground playing tag with Caspian. Mommy just snagged Caspian's empanada. No, she technically just grabbed my empanada, which was 
was a cheese and empanada <laughs> one. All right, tell us about your empanada. Yes. So it has cheese and empanada, that's all. My oh. idea is to eat all of this so it's more like a flat queso and empanada pancake. <laughs> This morning is our final day in Galapagos. We've decided to go to Playa Mun. You gonna follow me in, buddy? <laughs> it definitely feels bittersweet to be here on our last day. On one hand, I'm really looking forward to being back in our home in Dauntless, but it is so magical here. It's incredible. And the animal encounters, I've never experienced anything like this before. It's been remarkable. I was coming back to get our stuff. Brittany's ready to go. And uh, this little guy has made his home on our bench. This guy's not letting us leave, babe. I know, he has my shirt. When I tried to approach to get our stuff, he wasn't having it. So I think we're staying at the beach a little longer. Wait, you go that way, I'll go this way. It is time to head to the airport and say goodbye to the Galapagos, baby. Let's do this. Caspian, let's go, baby. It's a 10 minute walk back to the airport. It's 9.31, our flight leaves at 11.30. This reminds me of the airport in Panama City when we were leaving to fly to Cartagena. Much smaller and there's no jetway. You just gotta walk out onto the tarmac and board your plane. Here we go, I do not wanna leave, but we gotta go. Bye, Just like that, we're back in Quito. Tomorrow, we start dealing with the aduana and try and get our temporary import permit extended. And this paperwork we need is kind of a big deal because when we got back to Quito after our Galapagos flight, we only had three days left to legally have Dauntless in Ecuador. In our next video, we have three awesome places to share with you. First, we camp at the base of Cotopaxi, which is one of the tallest volcanoes in the entire world and it's stunning, but it's freezing cold up there at that altitude. So we head down to the heat of the thermal pools in Baños, Ecuador, have a lot of fun exploring the pools and this incredibly well-touristed Pueblo. From there, we take you to Chimborazo, which, believe it or not, is the highest point on the entire Earth. Yes, it is actually over 6,800 feet further from the Earth's center than Mount Everest's summit. There's just so much good stuff coming up as we continue this adventure around the world. So if you've watched this video so far and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that now. And if you really want to get to know us, join us on our Patreon. For the price of a cup of coffee, you can go behind the scenes with us on this incredible journey, and we would love to get to know you. We hope you've enjoyed the Galapagos with us, and until next time, we will see you in the next video. <laughs>